Hello everyone, my name is Will. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing another similar video to the previous ones. This will be another video for the beginner series, just things to get you started if you're going looking into fishing. Last video we made a nut tutorial and today I'm going to be doing a review of two of my favorite polarized sunglasses that I use for fishing when it comes to staying on a budget. Now I know a lot of you guys probably don't necessarily think sunglasses are of the utmost importance when fishing, but I can't tell you the number of times where I was sight fishing or just or just casting in general and I happened to notice something because of my sunglasses on that someone else that I was with did not see. It happens constantly and I'm telling you, from someone who has wear pull eye sunglasses for a long time while fishing, they make a huge difference. So I've got two pairs today. One is about $25 and one is about $100. These are both really good options when it comes to polarized sunglasses. Neither of these will break the bank, but they will deliver on quality. For the longest time, I used to just go to Walmart, Dick's Sporting Goods, uh, Cabela's, Bass Pro, whatever it may be, and I would look at that, that rack that they've got, you know, with all the sunglasses where it spins around and they've got all these different glasses and they're all like 20 bucks, $15, $10, some as cheap as like $5, right? But I used to just go there, pick one I liked, and I wore that when I was fishing. And that was, that was all I needed, and that, it worked for me. And if you wanna do that today, like if it works for you, then by all means do it. Like don't go out and spend money on something else if you already have something that you like and is working. This video is just, if you're looking for a good option for sunglasses, these, this is what I would recommend right here. Now the first pair of glasses I wanna talk about today are the Gooder sunglasses. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about these, and right off the bat, you're probably gonna say that these aren't really meant for fishing, which you're right, they're not. These are an all-around polarized sunglass. Um, I think they are marketed for running, like working out, that kind of thing, or just everyday sunglasses. But they are polarized, and I can tell you right now that from my experience, they work very well with fishing. First off, these sunglasses come in at just $25. That's right, $25. This right, these right here are probably the best pair of sunglasses I have ever found for only 25 bucks. And they are very popular just for that reason. They are high quality and at a very low price. So first off, off the bat, you get your own personal nice box. Like if, you bought, if you've ever bought like a pair of nice sunglasses, they usually come in a little cardboard box and then they come with one of these little baggies and usually like a microfiber cloth, right? And anytime I've bought sunglasses that are under 40, 50 bucks, normally they don't come with that. They'll just send them as a pair of sunglasses, right? Not these ones. These ones, you get a box, you get your own bag, I don't know if it comes with the cloth, I don't think so, but just again, for 25 bucks you're getting a lot, and that is one of the things I like. Now, when it comes to the actual glasses, they make these things in all different colors for the frame and all different lens colors as well. There are so many options for colors on their website. I will leave a link in the description for this pair as well as the other pair I'm gonna talk about. But if you're looking for a certain color or a certain style, these are probably what you wanna go with simply because there are so many options for colors and for lens color. And me personally, I really love like a green lens. And I also really like red and orange lenses. Um, I did find a green lens on these, which is just like a warmer color. I like the warmer ones. And these are perfect for that. Uh, first thing I like about these a lot is the fit. These are really hard to be when it comes to how they fit your face. They've got this really nice plastic material and it is very, very bendable, which sounds like it may be cheap, but what I've noticed is that they fit a very wide range of people simply because of how bendable they are. And I don't think they're necessarily gonna break, but again, for $25, I'm not worried about if they're gonna break. They're 25 bucks, right? I have owned pairs of Costa sunglasses that are as much as $250, and I can tell you that when you're on the water fishing and you have a pair of $250 sunglasses on, it makes you a little bit worried and concerned that you're gonna drop them and lose them. Because I don't wanna be out 250 bucks for a pair of sunglasses that I happen to lose. However, $25, I'm not really thinking about it too much because it's 25 bucks. It's not that big of a deal in my opinion. So I really like these because of the price. I like them how they fit my face because they fit very well. Um, and they do have very nice lenses and very nice colors that you can mix and match. Overall though, they're not the best when it comes to fishing simply because they are a flat lens, more of like a straight fit right here. You can see that. And they don't curve around your face to provide as much protection from the sun as traditional fishing glasses would. However, they are a very, very good option when it comes to finding a cheap polarized sunglass that you can use when fishing. Gooder sunglasses, I will leave a link in the description for you guys to check them out if you're interested. And yeah, I highly recommend this product. Now to option two. Option two, 
These I have had for quite some time. These are the Wiley X Peak sunglass. Um, I think these are about around $100. Now these are made for fishing. So that is the difference between these and the ones I just talked about. These are made for fishing. They've got that curved lens that goes around your face and wraps around. Make sure it covers the sun from the sides as well as from the front. They are polarized, of course. And overall, they just are a very, very nice pair of sunglasses for $100. You could compare these to a pair of Costas, a pair of Oakleys, uh, really anything. High quality sunglasses in these, you won't notice a difference. These are hundred bucks, and I think they are competing with products that are around the $200, $250 mark, which is very impressive in my opinion. The Wiley X sunglasses are not a soft plastic finish. They're more of a matte finish, which means they are a little bit more slick and, and they are more inclined to fall off your face than the other glasses. However, I really haven't had an issue with them falling off my face. They have a rubber nose grip right here, which helps a lot with fit and keeping them on your face when, it, when you get sweaty or when you're moving around, you know, they're not gonna have a problem. But overall, I love these glasses, they're a hundred bucks. If you have a little bit of a bigger budget and you wanna spend a little more and you wanna get something a little bit higher quality than the previous ones, I recommend these. Overall, I do highly recommend that you guys have a pair of polarized sunglasses if you plan to go out fishing and it is bright, they will help with visibility in the water tremendously. You will see things that you did not see before. I mean, there's been times where I'm fishing and I'll have polarized glasses on, I'll look down and I'll see a stump in the water that's on the ground and I'll, I'll save that spot in my mind and I'll come back to that spot because I know now there's a stump right there and I can fish there, I know there could be fish there and I've ended up catching fish on them before. I mean, polarized sunglasses just come in handy. They allow you to see more, they, they block you from the sun so your eyes don't hurt when you're not fishing all day. They are a must in my opinion. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I'm trying my best to make videos around beginning with fishing, just any beginner level videos. So how to's, reviews, products that you might wanna get that you could pick up. I do wanna clarify that I am not getting paid by any of these companies to promote their products. I'm really just telling you guys what I like and the products that I have used on a daily basis for some time now that work for me and that are of a cheap price that won't break the bank. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Leave a comment down below what you would like to see next in this video series. If there are certain questions that you guys may have regarding anything fishing related or just outdoors related. I have a lot of hiking boots, pants, stuff like that. I have a couple of favorites that I've liked just from hiking and wearing around fishing. So if you'd like to see products like that, let me know. Right now I'm just sticking to the fishing category mostly. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next episode. As always, stay cool.